Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with another After Effects tutorial for you to have a go at. Now after I did the simple loading screen tutorial a few weeks ago, I had a viewer um, contact me and say, is there any way you can uh, create a percentage view? Well, as you can see from the preview I've got playing right now, yes there is, and that's what I'm going to show you how to create today. So I'll just create a brand new project. And a new composition. And we'll call this one Final. I'll use the 720p preset that I normally use. I'll set the background color to black and set it to 30 seconds long and hit OK. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is create a very, very simple slider. So again, new composition. We'll call this Progress Bar. Make it 800 pixels wide by 50 pixels tall and the same duration as our master project. Just hit OK. Go to the rectangle tool, make sure fill is switched off and set the stroke to on. Set the pixel width to 20 pixels and we'll just create a white um, stroke value before double clicking on the rectangle tool to create our outline. Nice and simple. We'll rename that to outline and we'll hit Control and D to duplicate it. And I'll just rename this one to Progress Bar. With the Progress Bar selected, I'm going to turn the fill on and set it to white, and turn the stroke off. With the Timeline indicator at the beginning of the timeline, hit P to bring up your position properties. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And set that to minus 400. Then go to the end of the timeline, create another keyframe, and set that to 400. And that creates a very simple loading progress bar for the 30 second composition. So we'll just drag that into our main comp. And that's how it looks. OK, back in our progress bar, I'm going to right click and select New and Null Object. And in the Effects and Presets panel, I'll find the Slider Control. And we'll drag that onto our Null Object. Twirl down the Properties. And in the Slider Control Effects, click on the stopwatch at the beginning of the timeline to set a keyframe value of 0. Take the timeline indicator to the end. Create a new keyframe and then set it to a value of 100. And this will form the basis of our percentage view. Now if you watch the value as I scroll through, you'll see it counts from 0 all the way up to 100. Now it's actually working in fairly um, fine increments, so you'll notice it's 12.28 there. We'll fix that uh, later on, but for now that's the job done. Back in the final composition, select your text tool, and we'll just create um, a placeholder text set it to white and uh, like in the mp3 player tutorial I'm using the system typeface um, but you can use any typeface you like but it actually works best if you use um, standard width typefaces that don't change when the uh, characters change otherwise you'll find out that the numerals make the whole thing shift and uh, and it's not very pretty now if you've watched a few of my tutorials you'll probably know this trick already go back to your progress bar grab the handle on the composition panel and drag it to the side. And that'll create a split view where I have the composition for the progress bar and our final comp in view at the same time. In the final composition, twirl down the text properties until you see the source text um, property. Hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch to create an expression. And drag the pick whip over to your progress bar project and the slider control properties. And when you let go and click away, you'll see that the text has now been replaced with the exact number being returned by the slider control value. Now, if you've ever wondered why After Effects takes so very long to, to do even the most simple things, this is why. It works, um, doesn't work in whole numbers, it works in floating point maths.
Um, it's one of its strong points, but it also means that calculations take a long, long time. So the thing we need to do now, um, first of all, is close down the progress bar comp because it's done its job now and return to the final composition. We need to round this value up. So in the expression we've just created for the source text, I want you to click at the very beginning, make sure the cursor is right at the very beginning of the expression, and type the following in very carefully. Math with a capital M, full stop, round, open bracket, then go to the very end of the expression and add a close bracket. When I click away, you'll see that has an instant effect. It basically takes that uh, massive floating point number and turns it into a solid integer. So now when I scroll through, you'll see we've actually got a solid integer value of 0 to 100, which is exactly what we want. Now, uh, just a bit of housekeeping. I already had the paragraph alignment setting for this placeholder text set to align right. If you haven't already done that, now's a good time to do this because the next thing we're going to do is get the text tool again and create a new text layer to hold the percentage symbol. Now I'm just going to nudge that into place so it's lined up with the zero. I'll hit Control R to bring up the rulers and just drag down a new guideline just to make sure that I'm lined up as accurately as possible. Okay, that's good. Get rid of the rulers and get rid of the guide. Now I'm going to click on the pick whip for the percentage symbol and drag it onto the um, numeral placeholder that we've got. Now that basically means that anything I do with this, whether it's uh, scale or position, that percentage uh, symbol is going to hang around the, uh, the numbers. So they're pretty much locked in with a relationship. So here's the simple bit. With the timeline indicator at the beginning of the timeline, tap P to bring up the position values. And I'm just going to drag the X value so that the uh, center point of my percentage readout is at the very beginning of our progress bar. Now I'll click the stopwatch to create a position at that point. Move the timeline indicator to the end of the timeline and I'll just scrub that X value until the 100%, I'm using the gap in between them as the alignment point, is where I want it to be. So now when I scrub through the, uh, the whole project, you'll see you've got a percentage that tracks along with the progress bar above. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you now. I'll put the project file for this up on my website very, very shortly. You'll find it at shortformvideo.com. As always, I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.